Welcome back to Savita Everything guys. I want to thank Vesta for sponsoring this video. Today I am making ribs, my favorite ribs, St. Louis ribs, two different times to find out which way is the best way to cook them. Check it out. Whenever you're having a party, ribs are always a big hit. In my opinion, they are affordable and makes anybody happy. Cooking ribs sous vide is very easy and simple to do. I've done a lot of experiment with ribs, but one of the most important things I have not done yet is a time and temperature for ribs. And that's exactly what we're gonna find out today, which way is the best way to cook them sous vide. So let's do it. These are St. Louis ribs. Unlike baby back ribs, they have less meat on them. But in my opinion, they are a lot more flavorful and my favorite type of rib. I'm a big believer that you must remove the membrane on the back. As you can see, this one already came without it. Sometimes you get lucky and your butcher just take them out for you. But on the other one, I wasn't so lucky. But the good thing is I get to show you how to take them out. It's pretty straightforward. Use the back of a spoon handle or a butter knife to get started and using your paper towel, just pull it all out. It is not a big deal. To ensure that my seasoning will stick, I am using yellow mustard. This is not for flavoring. It is just a binder to make sure that my seasoning will stick. Talking about seasoning, I am using today's Guga's Rub. If you have not seen that video yet, make sure you check it out. This rub is not for sale and the only way you can get it is to make it yourself. And it's super easy to do. And it goes well with everything, even prime rib. So if you have not seen that video yet, make sure you check it out later on. It's on the description down below. One important thing to remember with Guga's Rub is that it does not have a lot of salt. It has a lot of flavor, but not salt. So if you want a more pronounced flavor on your ribs or anything else you're using Guga's Rub, just add a little bit of more salt. The next step is to get them into a nice vacuum bag and vacuum seal them. To do the job, I'm using the Vesta vacuum sealer. It is easy to use. You have several different options as you can see. After closing the lid, just press vacuum seal and Vesta does the rest. Now that we got them ready, it is time to cook them. I'm using the rib rack. It keeps the ribs from laying flat on the water bath and also ensures that the water is touching every part of the meat. For today's cook, I am using the Vesta Circulator. It has a touch dial for control, it is also Wi-Fi and it has an interactive app. I'm gonna be setting my Vesta Circulator to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. One rack of rib will be cooked for 24 hours and the other one for 48. And I am super curious to find out if there's gonna be any difference between texture. Once the ribs were perfectly cooked, I removed them from the bag and quickly drain all the liquid. This is the 48 hour rib. I can tell you right away it is extremely tender and if I don't handle with care it will completely fall apart. As you can see in the back, some of the bones have already separated from the meat. And as I'm handling it, I am being very careful for it not to fall apart. The 24 hour one holds its texture a lot better. It does not feel like it's gonna break apart. It seems like it holds together a lot nicer. But as you can see some of the bones have completely separated from the meat as well. Now that we have these beautiful ribs ready, it is time to smoke them. From my previous experiment, I know that smoke Smoking after sous vide is a lot better than before. If you have not seen that video, make sure you check it out later on. I'm smoking these ribs with hickory wood in the lowest setting of my smoker, which is 145 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm smoking them for three hours. We got the ribs smoking and the smell of smoke is wonderful, isn't it, mama? Oh. We are so hungry, everybody. It is the weekend and we are excited to try these ribs. Are you ready, mama? I'm ready. It's ready, guys. Let's take it out. Let's do it. All right, everybody, as you can see, they look absolutely incredible. But at the same time, this one here, which was cooked for longer, just is falling apart. Now, I do like my ribs falling apart. How about you, Mama? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we like it falling apart. But did I cross the line? Is it too much? We're gonna find out. But now, we're gonna baste it with a nice little sauce, give it a nice quick sear, with my Searing Sears Champion, as you know. And we're gonna chop it up and we're gonna find out which one is best. But I know, they don't look that good right now. Well, maybe I should take that no, back, Mama. They do, they look good already. <laughs> I should take that back. It's gonna look better with my beautiful sauce. Watch this. All 
All right, everybody, as you can see, we have a different setup today. It is the weekend. Are you ready? Are you hungry? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Mama? Oh, I came ready today. I got my wonderful cousin. I got my nephew. I say it is enough talking. We got some beautiful ribs. All right? I haven't so had we, ribs in a while. So we had oh. that. They should be, I know, right? It's been a while that we have some ribs. You, Mama? I don't Ooh. even remember. When was the last time we cooked ribs, Mom? Well, last year, sometime. I think the last time I cooked some ribs was the tamarind ribs, which was a long time ago. Probably. Right? Sounds about right. Anyway, all right, so we have two of them. They're cooked slightly different. I want to know which one you like best. Sounds good? Sounds good. So all right, let's go. go for first? Let's go oh, for that yeah. one. Yeah, cheers. 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 Oh, man. Mmm. 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 Mm. That is so good, everybody. There's some bite to it. You gotta bite it, mm -hmm. but it's not too hard. It's not too soft. It's perfect. I'm liking this deal here today. Andrew explains a lot. So, and, uh, so Andrew gets to talk. You get to eat. Yeah. <laughs> so, I love this sauce. The sauce they is amazing. Mm -hmm. The sauce is incredible. Mm -hmm. Super tender. The tenderness level, I think we hit it right on the money. It's perfect. There's still a little bite to it. It's There's not a like bite. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Let's go for the second one. No. I'm curious to find out what the difference is. You ready? No. Dig in. Cheers. Oh, that's nice as well. Mm. I feel like the first one has a little bit more of a bite. Right. Which, mm. if you like bites, first one's the way to go. But this one, this one is just melts. Mm -hmm. You bite on it, everybody. It just disintegrates. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it is still very juicy. Mm -hmm. Right? Very flavorful. What do you think, Angel? Look at this. Yeah. You don't even have to really pull on it. Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. No. <laughs> come on. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Do you think there is a very huge difference between them? No. No? No. You. Tenderness. Only the tenderness. And okay. is it a significant amount of difference for you? Uh, it's like if you maybe cooked it for a little bit longer. Okay. Mama, like. what do you think? Yeah, that's... What it, that's what it feels like. I think you guys hit it right on the money. It is different. The second one is more tender. If you ask me, I prefer the second one as well. Mama, you prefer which one? You I'm, can't I'm pick going. it. I can't pick. Because it's kind of the same, yeah, right? They're they are very the similar to each other, everybody. But it's so good. It's a <laughs> we know it's good. <laughs> they know it's good. Okay, I cooked this one for 24 hours, the first one. And okay. I cooked the second one for 48 hours. Wow. wow, really, that big? That big of a difference, double the time. I would have thought it was like, maybe like two, three more hours. Exactly, so mm -hmm. now we're gonna go to the question. Is it worth doing the 48 hours or the 24 hours good enough, chop it up? Angel. How hungry are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it depends how hungry you are. How hungry are you? Mama, what do you think? 24 hours is plenty. I think 24 hours is plenty, but you are confident now that if you leave it there on the sous vide, for 48 hours, there's not gonna be that huge of a difference. No, no, you're not ruining. It's not like a piece of steak or a pork it, loin that you leave over there. Exactly. One overnight and you're you're doomed. No, yep. this is this is safe. absolutely okay. Cook your ribs for 24 hours before your party, and if you get late to the party, something happened to the party, you can leave it there for another 24 hours if you drink too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it will be absolutely perfect. Both of these ribs are amazing and just a difference on tenderness a little Look bit. Look at that bone. <laughs> Clean bone. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys check out Vesta. They have a bunch of different products that you guys can check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Tell me you have another one inside. Bro, unfortunately, because this wasn't an experiment, I don't have any more. This is it. Come on. One was having a good time. The bone of the first one, everybody. Just to be fair, it comes out just as good. Look at that. Absolutely perfectly cooked. Wow. Wow, wow, it's pretty much over. I should have cooked like six of them. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Mm. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. So good. Amazing. Mm. I love ribs. Mama? So good. Mm. I haven't had ribs in a while, man. And that sauce.
Man, I should borrow that sauce. 